In today's video, we're gonna look back at 10 of my favorite MakerPie hack videos from 2023. There was a lot of awesome ideas from the community and hacks throughout last year and subsequent videos that we did showcasing those hacks. It was really hard to narrow it down, but here we've got 10 of my favorite. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up uh, was from the video, these $10 store hacks are priceless. So basically we went to the dollar store, picked out a bunch of stuff off the shelf and then used it for EMT conduit and maker pipe builds. And this idea from Dave, I loved it. He, he pulled the, the maker pipe or sorry, he pulled the hot wheel tracks off of the rack at Dollar Tree, as you can see here, and used that to make a label system. So basically, you can get some paper that fits inside the track and put it in there just like that. And you have a label system that you can put on your conduit build. So the idea is you just you know screw that track and secure it to your conduit build. I think we showed that here. Yeah, there you go. So you can secure that to your conduit build, and then you could label different things and move those labels around and slide them around the track. <laughs> that was a hack that Dave just came up with on the fly when we were in Dollar Tree. Thought that was super clever and a really interesting way to get a label system on your build. Next up is from the video Save Space with These Building Hacks. And this was a video dedicated to flat packing solutions. And this is really fun. There's a lot of different hacks in this in this video, just like there was in the, the Dollar Tree video. But I love this one specifically because I think it makes a lot of sense if you're flat packing. So basically, get some of this elastic cord, run that through the conduit in your project, and then connect it to uh, various parts of the build. Maybe you, you know, continuously run it through uh, all the conduit in like the leg and you know main portion of your frame, or maybe it's just you know in one connector here. And I think we tied it off at the bolt. Uh, I think we went through uh, all the way to the other side and then tied it off. But basically, it's a good way to keep pipes that are supposed to be together together. As you can see, yeah, we did go all the way through. And basically turned this leg and broke it down into a small uh, section here. And then you have a, a flat pack build. And like I said, there's all kinds of hacks in that video, like the quick clamps and everything. So definitely check that out. I'll link all the videos that we talk about today in case you want to watch them in their full length. Uh, we're just going to kind of quickly go through some. But yeah, love that. Thought it was super cool to be able to, to flat pack your build and keep pipes that are supposed to be together together by using the elastic. Love that. Next up is these bungee hooks are incredibly useful. And this was a video dedicated to the bungee hook solution. We had some community members use this. And we, we've talked a lot about ball bungees. You can kind of see down here the ball bungee is just a closed loop with a ball on the end and you can wrap that around and then use that to secure stuff. Works awesome for anything with grommets and love that. But bungee hooks are another version that have a closed loop, but on the end of it, instead of the ball, they have the hook that you can use for all kinds of stuff. And he showed a few different uses in this video, um, but one I really like is having the, the bungee part around the conduit and then the hook coming off of that, because then you can quickly remove a tarp or something like that if you want to you know, put it up and you got a windstorm coming or just a, you know, a thunderstorm or snow. You can quickly unhook that and take it down, leave the hook in place, or, you know, I mean, with it being a closed loop, it would be good to just leave it in place there. It should be fine, um, especially if you've got connectors on each end of the pipe. But yeah, super cool. A great use of another bungee material to be able to quickly take off stuff of your build or put it up. So really cool. Next up is a video that we talked about all kinds of different wire solutions and attaching, attaching cable to your builds. The video title is Extra Strength Comes Down to the Wire, which I thought was funny. You guys know, well, maybe you don't know, but I do like to put, <laughs> try to put puns in video titles. But basically, in this section of the build, or in the video, we use the puzzle piece clamp, which is the top half of the adjustable angle connector, to basically add a mounting point for off-the-shelf cable and the hardware that you get for cable as you can see there, and basically you would just, you know, tighten the nut and bolt, squeeze down on the, on the uh, connection there, and then you've got this loop that is uh, secured in place and closed there, and you can add cable to your builds, and this is useful for all kinds of stuff. We saw Matt and Kevin use it in different ways in their trellis, and, and Matt used it in his shed for extra stability. All kinds of cool stuff you can do in your builds. We saw another build recently uh, where they built a canopy, and somebody used wires to reinforce that. 
So really cool stuff you can do with cable, and this is one of the ways that you can secure it to your build. It's an eight-minute video, a lot of different solutions in there. Like I said, you can check out these different videos. I'll link them down below, but that was a cool one, and I love seeing people in the community use cabling. Next up is this one, finally a hinge made for EMT Condo. We've talked about hinges a lot on the channel for doing gates and doors and different things for gardening builds, all kinds of different projects, and Billy from Northwoods Engineered sent over his 3D printed drilling jig, which is another good idea. But also he sent the hinge and gate latch that he made specifically for EMT conduit, as you can see here. And we did a whole video where we kind of unboxed what he sent and went over it and attached it to a build and kind of talked about it, which is a lot of fun. I really appreciate him sending those over. And then here is the gate latch you can see. And we use the drilling jig uh, to, you know, to drill the holes, which that jig was a lifesaver and makes drilling holes super easy. But here's the gate latch, and then we go outside, and I attached it to just a, a simple structure I made just to test the hinge, and it worked fantastic. As you can see here, once I finish attaching it, yeah, it opens and closed and works really well and really awesome, and Billy is actually selling these, I believe. I'll put a, a link to his video and description and overview of everything. Uh, I'll put that in our description so you can reach out to him if you want to pick those up. We had people comment on this video saying they picked them up, which is really exciting. It was a lot of fun to, to get these from Billy and, and, and play around with them and test them out. So thanks again for sending those over, Billy. Next up is a parallel pipe hack from the video, This Parallel Pipe Hack is Too Perfect. And I love this idea. I kind of uh, was inspired by this from the uh, the community, um, ham radio community, who, who needs to attach antennas and different things for, uh, you know, ham radio and, and different things like that. And basically, Dave came up with the idea where you use the middle piece of the adjustable 180 connector and some really long bolts and some metal spacers to basically create a parallel pipe clamp that you can use with different sizes of conduits. We've got three quarter inch and half inch in there, and then you s secure those in place, and then you have this parallel pipe clamp, uh, as you can see, I think I've got a, where do I actually show it all assembled somewhere in here, uh, but really cool and allows you to do like a parallel clamp for two different sizes of, of pipe or conduit that you're building with, and you can adjust this. As you can see, there's a ton of threads here. You can change the length of those spacers, which would change the distance between the two pipes. So a lot of cool ideas there uh, that you can incorporate this for a parallel pipe uh, a joint in your build. So really cool, and uh, yeah, I like that one a lot. Next up is an easy hack that was um, shared by Aaron in his build that he did, and this was for vertical gardening. So if you run out of horizontal space in your garden bed and you wanna do some vertical gardening, Aaron shared that you can get these planters from Dollar Tree, and they had small ones at my local Dollar Tree, but you can order larger ones online. And basically, this is a this is just plastic you know, trays that stack. And if you go through and you get a knife and you cut a star pattern out of the center, you can then slide it over EMT conduit, as you can see here, and it kind of just pushes back those pins and then you can just stack it to your heart's content. And yeah, there, yeah, you slide it over and then you just stack it like you normally would. It kind of has a, a channel that, you know, kind of locks in, not really locks in place, but you, you can kind of feel uh, whenever they're stacked, how they're supposed to be. Uh, they're just kind of a groove in both pieces that lock together. But yeah, you could do some vertical gardening in your conduit builds and you could just add these wherever you have a conduit vertical. So that was super cool from Aaron. Really appreciate him sharing that. And uh, I guess that's technically a Dollar Tree hack because the Dollar Tree planners. So that's really cool. Thanks so much, Aaron, for, for sending that in. Uh, but next up is a conduit crank. And this is really cool. This is made specifically for EMT conduit. You know, a lot of these hacks that we share, we call them hacks because they're meant for something else, and we kind of hack them and make them work with the EMT Conduit Maker Pipe. But this conduit crank is made specifically for EMT Conduit. And this intro I thought was funny, because <laughs> I really was having a lot of fun building with this and, and using this conduit crank. But basically, as you can see, there's just a, a center part here of the crank that has three quarter inch EMT that goes through it. Then there's a, a small little stub that sticks out that attaches to the conduit, and they give you a, a nut and bolt. You can secure your conduit horizontal to this. And it's made for long distances. I, I don't want to be wrong, but I think it was like 200 and something feet, maybe 300 feet. Uh, and there's like a, a gear ratio in here made specifically for that. 
and it's really wild, uh, but it's really cool, and, you know, it's meant to vent greenhouses, but we talked about it in this video and kind of showed it um, for, you know, raising a sunshade or all kinds of different things you could use this for. But that was a cool one that just kind of discovered recently, made specifically for EMT Conduit, and pretty cool. So really enjoyed that one and hope you guys did too. Next up is I'm never using normal zip ties again. This was a new one on me. I mean, of course, everybody knows what a zip tie is. And there's, there's nylon ones here. That's probably what most people think of. But they actually have metal zip ties, as you can see here. And they are really great if you're doing outdoor projects because nylon ones uh, could potentially, uh, you know, bake in the sun over a long period of time and then just snap loose. And if you've got plants hanging on a trellis or a sunshade or whatever it might be secured to your build with these and they break loose, you know, storm comes through, you could lose your tarp or for your sunshade or if the plants get too heavy and, you know, your tomato plants fall because the trellising fails, that would stink. And so these metal zip ties are great for outdoor projects and they have a cool little system in here. There's like a small ball inside the head of the zip tie here that basically uh, will lock it in place, has a groove in there, which is pretty cool. And while I was playing around with these, I found that you could kind of finagle it a little bit. And if you stick the other end of the zip tie back through, you can move that ball inside and get it loose and technically reuse it, which is really cool. And I don't know if I mentioned in that video or not, but they make a specific tool for tightening these, uh, which is something you might need to pick up if you're using them in your build. Uh, but I don't think I mentioned that in that video. Maybe I did. That was a few months ago, so I don't remember. But those were those are really cool and something that were new on me. I hadn't heard of them before, but I think really useful for, for projects if you're doing outdoor builds. Last but not least is probably my favorite hack from last year, just because we talk about flanges a lot. And most of the time, it's vertical flange solutions where you have something attached to a flat surface and then the conduit is perpendicular to that flat surface and coming out straight out of it pretty much. But this was a hack that we thought of for a parallel piece of conduit attached to a flat surface, which is something a lot of people need help with. And it's really simple. It's just a threaded pipe insert in the piece of EMT conduit and then a bolt going through the base of the adjustable angle flange. So we have it where you can buy just these base pieces off of the Maker Pipe website. Basically just get a quarter 20 bolt going through the flange piece and then into the uh, threaded pipe insert. And then of course you just tighten that down. And then you have a, a parallel flange solution for EMT conduit. So you could attach this to the side of your house and it's going to be strong. And, you know, we've talked about other solutions like uh, shower curtain or no, not, not shower curtain, but just regular curtain rod holders um, and, and eye hooks and different things, which are useful for certain projects. But, but this is a, a, a strong solution for a parallel flange that you could do and then build off of it in your builds. And I, I just like this one a lot. And, and I think the comments are pretty good on it. Everybody seemed to like it as well. So that was cool. And uh, it just had a nice, oh yeah, that was something too. Because it had this little bit of a gap, it's pretty close to flat material, but because it had that little bit of a gap, you could connect to it and not have to worry about your um, connector, you know, hitting the flat surface that you're attaching to. So really cool. I like that one a lot and hope you guys did too. And I hope you guys enjoyed all the hacks that we shared last year. Like I said, these were just some of my favorites, but if you have your own favorite, I'd love to hear down in the comments what your favorite one from last year was. So definitely leave that down below and hope you liked this video. If you did leave a like and consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.